I can't love believe it. it either. It wow. even feels like it's a little later in the year considering how hot it's been. Oh, <laughs> right. And we're only just a little bit halfway through the year. Oh, boy. <laughs> Still some more to go. Uh, so if you think it's hot now, wait till I tell you about our forecast as we head into the next few days. It's only going to get hotter as this high pressure system continues to pump in much more of that hot, dry air over the area. So here's a look at what's happening. Here, this is our Long Beach camera looking at lots of sunshine, temperatures once again above average today. And we actually are looking at a lot more of that heat really pushing in once we head into the beginning of this week. And that's because the high pressure system is out to the east of us right now. It's going to start to wobble back closer to us. Live look. This is our LAX camera. You can see it is just a little bit busy on the upper level. Otherwise, temperatures near Long Beach at 84 degrees. It's a bit breezy. Com winds coming in from the south southeast at about 10 miles per hour, but it is still hot inland. Triple digits for San Bernardino, 98 for Lancaster, 83 for downtown LA, and 76 near the airport, 81 for Santa Ana. So ahead of this big warm up, we're looking at excessive heat watches in place for most of Southern California. You can see everywhere here in the dark red, and what that means is starting Monday morning all the way till Tuesday night, we're looking at some very, very hot temperatures as this high pressure system builds in. Then as we head into Wednesday, we're still looking at very hot temperatures sitting over our high desert regions. And then we're also looking at a fire weather watch for the foothills and mountain communities of LA and Ventura County until about Tuesday night. And that's because of the very hot temperatures, the dry conditions. We haven't had a lot of rain this season at all. So if a fire were to start, it would spread very fast. Here's a look with that high pressure system. Lots of clear skies. They will stay pretty clear as we head into the overnight hours. We could see some patchy low clouds and fog moving back in, but you can see how that high pressure system is still to the east of us. It will start to wobble a little bit closer to us with temperatures gradually warming up for the beginning of next week. So the first half of the week will be hot and dry, and then we're looking at hot and muggy as this high pressure system leaves us and then brings back all that monsoon moisture. So this weekend, lots of sunshine. It's going to be your typical sunny summer afternoon. But then again, temperatures start to really spike and get hotter once we head into the beginning of this upcoming week. And then by the time we head into the middle latter part of the week, we're looking at much more of that humidity moving back in. So highs tomorrow, 88 for Simi Valley, 90s for downtown LA, triple digits for the San Fernando Valley, 93 for El Monte, 90 for Irvine, 99 for Riverside, 100 degrees for San Bernardino, 99 for Victorville. And then here's a look at what happens. Once we head into Monday, we'll start to see those temperatures go up by 8 degrees for the valleys at 108. Then by Tuesday, 110. And then you start to see temperatures go down just a touch once we head into Wednesday and Thursday. But any way you look at it, it is still very hot. But again, the second half of the week, we'll start to feel much more of that humidity pushing back in. So there is a chance that we could see those isolated thunderstorms and showers over the mountaintops from Wednesday on through the end of the week. Back to you.